What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel, Breaking Up With Obesity. If you are new here, my name is Phoebe. If you have been here, I just want to say thank you so much for sticking around. Thank you for hanging with me. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for just being you. Before I say anything else, I just want to say Happy New Year. I know it's like the end of January. I'm super late, but better late than never. So today we are working on our vision boards. I'm going to share with you all what I was able to accomplish last year and what my goals are for the year 2020, the year of the vision. Let's get to it. So this is my vision board from 2019 and my goal right now, let me move in a little closer, is to update my vision board for the year 2020. So I'm going to share with you all some of the stuff that I was able to accomplish in 2019 and also show you all what I plan to do and accomplish in the year 2020. Um, I'm claiming a lot for myself. And I'm going to put it on this vision board and I'm going to make sure that I am intentional about manifesting it all for myself. So here we go. All right. So this one said you passed. Um, I'm not sure you all can see it. But this one said you, got, you passed. One thing that I don't really share is um, I just started like confidently driving. I lost a really close cousin, somewhat like a brother to me, in a car accident. And after, since he died, I was just like really, really scared of driving. But this year I overcame that and I passed my driving test, got my license, and I am going to be getting my car by the end of this month. So I'm thankful for that. Um, I read more books. I really read a lot this year and I'm really proud of myself. I even got Audible, which is really helping me just get through some longer books. Um, so that I'm excited about. My credit score really was really, really low because I was bad at paying my student loans. But I got it up to like 670, so I'm proud of myself. I'm almost at 700. Um, although I'm taking this off, my goal to keep building my credit isn't really going to change. It's going to still be there. I want to continue being financially um, stable. I just want to like be financially free. Um, this right here was education, my education area. Only things I'm going to take off is just next stop PT school. I obviously am not in PT school yet. Um, she wants to DPT. I am not in PT school yet, but I'm going to replace it with something and I'm going to share that with you all. Um, but yeah, right here, debt free. I am not debt free, but I am working so hard towards it and I'm really doing a good job and I'm so proud of myself. Um, I'm going to keep this on Dave Ramsey's seven baby steps. This is definitely staying on because I plan to follow this through and through. I was able to save actually $4,000 this year, which helped me contribute towards my sister's car. Um, she's in medical school and she needed a car for her um, rotations. And I was able to help my parents and help her get that car. So this is something I'm really proud of. I'm going to change this to save an additional $5,000 this year. Although it sounds hard, I know I can do it. Um, I'm going to take this off. This one, I really wanted to build up. Um, I don't think you all could see. I really wanted to build my YouTube channel this year, but I was really lazy. I went through a lot um, mentally and physically, so I really was not as consistent as I wanted. I'm going to take this off and replace it with a number that I want to hit this year. Um, so that's coming off. I got my MacBook. <laughs> so this is definitely coming off. Um... I have a different camera that I want, so I'm going to replace this. It's not coming off, but I'm going to replace it with something else. Um, Traveling-wise, I was only able to go to L.A. last year, which is not a bad thing. I celebrated my 29th birthday in L.A. last year. I reunited with my brother after 20 years, so that was huge. I wore my NCBT bikini last year, so I can definitely take this off. Um... But I'm going to replace it. Friendship. I am keeping this on because I'm still working on mending 
a bunch of friendships with some friends that I fell off with. Not really fell off with, but we kind of like just grew distant, but we're working on it. Um, I'm going to replace this with something else, but I am still open to love. I am open to getting into a relationship. I was in a relationship this year. It didn't work out. I'm moving on. I'm gonna keep this on because my depression was something that I dealt with this year. So I'm keeping this on as a reminder to just know that it's okay to not be okay. And it's okay to share that with people. So I'm gonna keep that on. And right here where my faith is, I was able to read the Bible. You can't see that. Right here is my faith area. I was able to read the Bible in one year last year. So I'm gonna keep this on and just add to it. Um, I'm going to share with you all my Bible verse for the year. It is amazing and I love it. I also have a quote for the year. I can't wait to share with you all. So now that we know what I was able to accomplish, I'm going to redo my vision board and share with you all what I plan to do for the year 2020. saw the video this is all about vision board making i hope you guys are just as excited as i am about seeing my board for 2020 the board is amazing i'm excited i'm a little nervous but i'm mostly excited because this new year is going to be amazing it's 2020 like it's all about vision like vision 2020 vision board making the anyways i just want to share with you all this board this amazing board that I created. It's like, um, I don't know. This is my third year making vision boards. And this is probably my favorite board. I don't know if it's because this year is starting off so good for me. But I'm really excited. Like, I don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is. Because 2019 was such a hard year for me. Um, the whole year wasn't bad. But it was a difficult year. It was a trying year. But this year has started off so well and I am just so thankful. I'm so excited for what is to come. Um, and it's on my board, like, it's so crazy. Anyways, let's get to this board because obviously you guys are like, okay, she's getting a bit too sentimental. Let's, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna cut it short. Let's look at the board, I'm excited. I hope you guys like it. All right, so I am currently behind the camera because I needed you all to get a full view of my amazing board. Um, I'm always proud of myself when I can put my thoughts onto my board and not feel like I left anything off. And with this board, I don't feel like I left anything off. Um, we're going to start to the left. So right here, I always do my vision board in sections because it helps me just, I don't know, it organization is really big and I prefer to be organized and disorganized so on this side right here this is my faith section and my word of the year for faith wise is gratitude I want to practice gratitude every single day I want to get out of bed and just say thank you God thank you for allowing me to see another day thank you for this bed that I slept on because some people take that for granted there's some people sleeping on concrete outside so i do thank the lord for my bed i thank him for the roof over my head for the heating because it's currently winter there are people outside sleeping on the ground in the cold i am very thankful for this home that i live in 
I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for being able-bodied because I could have woken up paralyzed, but here I am with working arm, working legs. I can see, I can talk, I can breathe. So gratitude, um, have faith. I want to constantly have faith. Even when I'm going through tur um, turmoil in life, I want to constantly have faith because it is my faith that will get me through everything that I face. Um, my Bible verse of the year is, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Basically, what you think you um, are. And with this board, this is what I am thinking. This is what I plan to manifest. This board is what I am thinking um, in my heart. And I know it's going to come to pass. Um, down here, I have community service because I do want to become more involved in the community. I do want to help others. I hate the fact that I'm constantly seeing people and I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish I could do this. I want to stop saying I wish and I actually want to do it. So this year, I plan to be more involved in the community. Even if that means going to a homeless shelter and just helping dish out food, I plan to do that. Finishing school, um, this is huge. This is really, 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 really huge. I have constantly taken time off of school and I want to stop doing that. I want to go back and I want to stay in school until I am done. And this is going to stay here until I finish. If you know me, you know that my dream school for physical therapy is Emory University. And some days I think I can do it. Other days I don't believe I can get accepted into that school. But I'm going to keep it on this board. And I'm going to work on this. And I'm going to constantly see myself at Emory University getting my white coat um, in the physical therapy program. I'm not going to let this go. I'm not going to let this dream pass. I'm going to constantly keep this in mind and keep this as my um, motivation when I'm in school. Procrastination is a thief of dreams. I am a huge procrastinator, but this year I am not claiming that for myself. I'm going to break the cycle and I'm going to remember that if I keep procrastinating, I'm letting time pass and I'm letting my dreams pass me by. So that's there. Um, my 2020 word of the year is consistent. Um, consistency comes in my faith. It comes with, it comes when it, it, it's important when it comes to my education. It's important when it comes to my health. Basically consistent is for every area of my life. I have to be consistent if I want to accomplish what it is that I set for myself. So that is my word of the year. My quote of the year um, by Dennis Waitley is, failure should be our teacher, not our undertaker. Failure is a delay, not a defeat. It is a temporary detour, not a dead end. Failure is something we can avoid only by saying nothing, doing nothing, and being nothing. And that's going to be the quote I live by this year. And maybe even moving forward. Here is my financial goal. I put it down here also, but this is it. I will be purchasing my first car this year. And I already have my eyes set on a black Hyundai Sonata with tinted windows. And I am working my butt off to get this car by the end of February. So you guys are definitely going to get a video of that. Um, but yes, saving. Last year I was able to save $3,000. Actually, last year I saved $4,000, which was huge. I was able to help my parents buy a car for my sister. She needed it for her rotations in medical school. So it was really big for me to be able to do that for her and to assist my parents with that. So again, this year I want to save an additional $3,000 or more. I want to be able to save and not spend carelessly. Don't let old money habits define you. I'm not defined by how I spent money when I was younger. I'm going to continue to grow to work on financial freedom. Dave Ramsey's seven steps will get me there. That's why I kept it on here. Debt free. I'm working on it every single day. YouTube. I need you all to help me get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of this year. That is a hefty goal because I'm currently at only 740 subscribers. But I know that I'm going to get this number. Will it be this year? I don't know. You guys have to get help me get there. But I kept that on there. I am going to be monetized on YouTube because guess what? I deserve extra money, okay? I need a second hustle and YouTube is my second hustle. So I'm definitely going to work my ass off to get monetized. Um, I'm going to get a Canon. Once I hit about 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to buy myself a recording camera right now. It's not really important. If I really want to build my channel, I can do that with the phone that I have. So that's on there for when I hit 5,000 subscribers. St. Laurent. I want a bag by St. Laurent. That's all that it is. I'm going to buy that for myself. I'm going to save and I'm going to get that. I deserve a name brand purse. I love purses. So I'm going to get a name brand purse. 
Um, I'm turning 30 this year. Whew. 30. I'm turning 30 this year. And I plan to spend my 30th birthday in Bali. So a birthday in Bali is my goal. And it's going to happen. Down here I have my travel. I want to travel the world. Um, it's not something that I plan to even take off once this year is over. So I'm going to keep that on there moving forward. But I'm going to travel the world. I'm going to vis visit Paris. I'm going to visit Iceland. I'm going to travel. And I'm excited. And on this side, you have my fitness side. Sorry, I know the camera is shaking. Um, Serena Williams, who does not love this woman? This woman is the epitome of fitness for me. She is just amazing and I love her to death. And she's like one of my motivators. Akin Wale, I love her. I follow her on Instagram. She's an amazing mother, trainer, wife. She's just awesome. And I'm bringing my abs back this year. Abs 2020, baby. Love yourself. This is something that I work on every single day. There are days I wake up and I'm just like, you are so amazing. And other days I struggle to tell myself that. So I'm going to keep this on here to remind myself that even on my worst days, remember to love yourself. Fall in love with taking care of yourself. My health is my goal in life is to constantly take care of myself. Um, that means health wise, financially, spiritually, this basically this entire board is me falling in love with taking care of myself. Everything that I have on here is because I love myself. Um, no apologies. Live your life without apologizing for being yourself. Like we're constantly apologizing for things that we love, things that um, drive us, things that just make us, you know, happy and whole. Stop apologizing. Over apology takes the worth away from our words. Stop apologizing. I'm going to Roots Picnic for the second year in a row, so I had to put that on there. Friendship. Um... I used to be like this hard and like kind of distant person. I would let friendships end just because I wanted to be labeled as, oh, Phoebe doesn't really care. Phoebe's cold hearted. No, I'm over that. I want to keep my friendships. I want to build new friendships. Um, I need my friends. I cannot live my life alone. I need my friends. So that's definitely on there for that. It's okay not to be okay. I've struggled sharing that I'm depressed with the world, but... This last year, I was able to tell a lot of people that, yeah, the reason you didn't see me is because I was in a deep bout of depression. And it's okay to tell the world that you're not okay. It doesn't make you small. It doesn't make you weak. It doesn't make you fragile. It actually makes you really, really strong if you can admit that you're not okay. So that's why I have that on there. And right here it says, in order to love who you are, you cannot hate the experiences that have shaped you. And that is so big because... A lot of the experiences that I've gone through, I kind of used to hate because I felt like I was going through things that regular people don't go through. I felt like all the failures was something that was limited to just me and other people didn't experience it. But I'm just like, you know what? Everything that I have gone through in life has made me who I am. And to be quite honest, I'm pretty amazing. So I'm letting those things shape me and I'm okay with that. And then down here, me and somebody's son, because your girl's going to find a boo this year, okay? I'm going to find me a boo and we're going to get it on. Ew, ew, ew. It's like, no. <laughs> but no, I am open to being in a relationship this year. I'm not limiting myself. Um, I'm going to let, lo let love in, okay? I am not afraid of love. I am going to allow somebody's son to find me this year and sweep me off my feet. And then down here... This is not a 2020 dream. This is a forever dream. This is my mother's dream car. The Volvo XC90. I think it's the XC90 or XC70. I know it when I see it. I'm going to get my mother this car. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to get her this car with a big red bow on top of it. It's not going to mean winter. It's not going to mean spring. I'm just going to get her this car. And that's that. So... This is my vision board. And honestly, it makes me really, really proud to just look at it because I am going to accomplish this. I'm going to hit these goals and I'm excited. I'm excited to take you all along. I'm excited to just hit them. I'm so excited that if I'm low key scared, 
but it's like a good scared. It's not a bad scared. It's just like, oh my God, this year is about to be so epic. It's about to be so freaking epic. Um, yeah, so that's my word. All right, so that is it. That is my board. I hope you guys love the video and I hope it motivates you to go out and create your own. Now, you don't have to create one like mine. You don't have to buy this big old canvas board. You can create a digital vision board. You don't even have to do a vision board. You can literally just write down your goals somewhere and keep it safe. Keep it somewhere that you can look at it every single day. And the reason I say every single day is because you want to be able to see your goals because not only will it motivate you, but it will pick you up and like dust you off when you are scared, when you are afraid of failure, when you are just close to giving up on yourself. You know, like having it where you can see it will push you. And this is my push. This is my drive. And I'm so excited to accomplish everything that is on this board. I've already spoken into existence. I'm going to continue speaking into existence. I'm going to pray about it. I'm going to work my butt off. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you all enjoyed seeing me back on YouTube. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. Take care. Stay blessed. Have a terrific week. Um, and I just pray 2020 is a great year for you myself and all the other people in the world.